Hello all, and welcome to a guild hall tour. Today we'll be touring the Defenders of the Lights guild hall. First off, this is the entryway. Just to give you a little information about Defenders of the Light, I am one of the leaders, and it's been around since 2000... One second, let me look that up. Never mind, I'm not on a Defender's Tune. I believe it was 2004? But yeah, this is the entry hall. Currently, we are still under construction. I started construction of this guild hall a few months ago, like near the beginning of my school year, and haven't really done any since. This is the sweatshop, if we go through that door. Um, the broker. Banker. A whole bunch of books that tell other guild members what's happening or some other useful in piano to play music. Mailbox. Normal merchant. Another merchant, I've never actually bought anything from him because I don't know what they're actually used for. Um, give this guy compost, water, and bones, and he gives you shinies. The fountain has three of those in it. One there, there, and there. Collector. Chronomage for mentoring. Over here we bought a scroll depot. It holds any type of spell scroll, recipe scroll, pretty much any type of scroll that drops in the game that can be used by characters. Really quick before we continue on, I'm going to go and click this piano again just to play nice music from EverQuest 1. Okay, um... Recipe Merchant. Rush Orders? Normal Crafting Ritz and fuel merchant.
This statue and this pick give you special crafting buffs. And that spoon is just there for decoration. To go along with the pick. Um, we have, I believe, every single type of crafting table. Even Frostfell ones. And every single type of cloak. And over here is the materials depot, along with the guild hall gathering hirelings, which really don't bring back much at all. Um, yeah, so here's another piano. Yeah, those fireworks continue going until you turn them off. Okay, and so now that we're done with this wing, let's go downstairs. Then we'll come up on the other half of the guild hall once we're done with downstairs. To our left, in this room, is a simple memorial. I replaced this mannequin right here with this house actor that curtsies and says a little message to chat. This is a lot taller than our normal, or than our old, simple memorial. Because some reason I decided that bigger was better. <laughs> Play written books by some of our old guild leaders. throughout hanging vines yeah and we also have another amenity that allows people to also trade bones water and fertilizer for Chinese as well Currently, I have no plans for this room, so it is barred off by a bed and a wall. <laughs> and if you want to find this fountain, you will not actually ever be able to. Uh, I had a friend of mine use a world editor to put two fountains together pretty seamlessly. And I put a teleporter pad in the center. Okay, in here is a meeting hall or a church, whatever you would rather it be. When I was decorating this, I had to actually get a few more of these coffin things because we didn't have enough in the old guild hall.
I just showed my GUI again so that way you guys could see the quote that I put on the lectern. Yeah, whenever I turn on my GUI or turn it off, I generally have to get a second keyboard and turn it on and off because the current keyboard I'm using, the F keys, do not seem to work. So, yeah, that's that room. And over here, I'm currently planning on putting a kitchen here, except for I haven't actually gotten the drive to, you know, finish it or do it. Down here is the leader sanctuary. Has every single guild leader present or not. And each one is supposed to have a mannequin and a book next to them. Like this one. And this one. But most of these guild leaders haven't logged on in such a long time that they haven't actually seen the new guild hall. Or gotten to put up a mannequin of themselves. So, yeah. Oh, and one other fun fact. These guild leaders are ordered from the time that they originally joined the guild. So, I believe this one in front is even root. Possibly. Or it's hammer. I don't remember which. But here's Param. Oh, this one's even root. Yes, this one is even root. That one's hammer. That one is Makika. Sai. Me. Discom. No, that one is Makika. Uh, I'm gonna give up on trying to figure out who these are. And Ethine. One of Elena's thousands of alts. So, yeah. Oh, and there are a whole bunch of mannequins for any guild leaders who might, you know, actually log on once in a blue moon and see the new guild hall so they can actually put up a mannequin of themselves. And another teleporter pad. Okay, so let's go up to the other half of the guild hall to pretty much almost conclude our tour. Okay, a little lounge area with some really nice, very expensive chairs. <laughs> Another lounging area with some more really nice and expensive couches. Fireplace with another s lounging area. Jeez, that firework is really loud for how far away it is. It's on the other side of those walls. But yeah, a uh, dining area with a nice array of books. Each person has some bottle in front of their seat. And I believe these are actually four tables? Yes, four tables. So, yeah. Here's 
the lounge and dining hall. This is the painting that you get from ordering the Altar of Malice. And this one, I believe, is from the Mushroom Rings. Uh, if we go through that door, here is the combat wing. Another one of those paintings from the Altar of, Altar of Malice. All of our raid fight head drops, named heads. I should have counted these before I started recording. Oh well. You can count them yourself. Yeah. Then over here is the little practice arena with the training dummy crate, which I find funny that you could walk through. So, yeah, that was pretty much this portion of Guildhall. There is one last area that we have to go to as we conclude this Guildhall tour. Well, two more areas. Here is another library, similar to the one over there, but this one also has a lot of books, and it's the hallway that leads to the transportation garden. Here's the druid ring, a flag that takes you to Sky Shrine, some whisper columns that take you to some of the new zones, can't remember off the top of my head where they actually go because I didn't actually get them, and I rarely ever use them. Um, this one takes you to Oval Plains. It is a spirit anchor. This one takes you to Eidolong Jungle, I think. And this one takes you to Vesper Isles. This takes you to an old... Shoot, what expansion is it? The Shadow Odyssey Zone. A shold an old Shadow Odyssey Zone. Normal bell, housing portal, takes you to an old desert of flame zone, and the wizard spire. That mushroom you got from a few ring uh, mushroom events ago, it was accidentally given to everybody when they first released it. Well, everybody who logged in. So, like, everyone has one, but it was supposed to be gotten when you completed all of the rings during that event. But, alas, that didn't work. Oh, that mirror takes you to the Tower of Frozen Shadow. And this tower that looks a lot, well, it is the tower in the Isle of Refuge takes you to the Isle of Refuge in the Altar of Malice. So, that pretty much concludes our tour of the Defenders of the Light Guildhall. 
One other fun fact, every single amenity that can be named in this guild hall is named after one of the guild leaders. All 13 guild leaders, I believe? Hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.